It is October 31st, 1965. It's dark, and deep in the woods is a boy and a girl in a car. It is where everybody goes to make out, but on Halloween night, the boy and the girl is alone. They both start making out, the boy touching her, slipping his hand up her top. The girl pulls away in anger. She slaps him. The pair sit back into their seats, and they both sit there in silence for a few seconds. The boy turns on the local radio station. He thought it would maybe cheer the mood up, but whilst the music was on, there was an interruption. Breaking news, the man has escaped from the mental asylum. He is armed with a hook as a weapon, and he is highly dangerous. If he is spotted, please don't approach, just call the police and lock your doors. After that announcement, they both had a terrified look on their face. The boy started the engine up, but the girl did not want to go back home. The boy did not listen. He was so scared he drives off, and within two minutes, they arrive at the girl's home. The boy stops the engine and gets out. He walks around to the girl's side of the car. Once he gets to the car door, he freezes. With a shock of horror look on his face, he just stares at the door handle. The girl sees the expression on his face and gets out of the car. The girl closes the door, and there she sees a blood-stained meat hook hanging on the car door's handle. They both just had one lucky escape. If the boy hadn't driven off at that moment, the crazed mental patient was just about to open the door and kill them both. The boy looks at the girl, and she had a flustered look to her. He walks up to the girl and puts his hands over her shoulder to comfort her. The boy looks deep into her eyes, and the girl looks deep into his eyes. And with a sharp swing, the hook gets embedded into the boy's stomach. The boy looks down, and he sees the girl's hands on the hook. And as he looks back up at her, the girl lifts up the hook towards his ribcage. All the boy could hear was crunching and squishing noises. The boy looks over her shoulder, and in the distance he sees a shadow of a figure of a man walking up behind her. As this person gets closer, the man puts his arm on the shoulder of the girl and whispers into her ear, Well done, sis. The boy drops to the floor in his own puddle of blood and dies. The man is the girl's brother, and they'd planned to go on a killing spree on Halloween night, starting with her boyfriend. It was supposed to start in the woods. The boy saved his life by driving away, but it wasn't enough to save him completely.